What is going on guys? Ben Glenn here coming back at you with another video and today I'm going to learn how to say coming back at you with another video without stammering or doing whatever that weird thing was. Uh, regardless, I am back on MLB The Show 18 Diamond Dynasty and today as you can tell from the title we are building and debuting the God Squad, the best team in MLB The Show 18. Thankfully you guys have put me in a position where I can spend money on the game and get the best team for content. Uh, and I've actually grinded quite a bit as well. At the time of recording this, I've completed uh, a few career arcs, to say the least. Uh, I think the only one I haven't done is Jack Morris that you can complete right now. And then I've made great progress on some of these Immortals as well, uh, trying to get those as soon as they're available. So, I guess I don't want to waste time. Basically, what we're doing is I'm building the best team, in my opinion. We're not going to waste too much time on stats. I'm not doing it by overall. Uh, for the most part, because in my opinion, stat-wise, 85 Bob Gibson is one of the best in the game. Um, he is absolutely incredible. So even though he's an 85 overall and I have guys that are much higher than that, Bob Gibson will be my number five. Where do I already have? Oh, he's my current number one. All right, so we'll go ahead and move Bob Gibson down. Uh, as my ace, I will have Jake Arietta, Vita Blue from Battle Royale. You know, we'll throw Clayton Kershaw in there, and we're also going to throw in Max Scherzer. You should see debuts um, with some more of these cards. We Like, everyone in this video, this is the best team that I can put out there. We're going to do individual player debuts where each player is highlighted or spotlighted with an all-gold team or something like that. Um, where you're going to see Nolan Ryan, who's an absolute beast as well. I, I probably should put Nolan Ryan in there over maybe Clayton Kershaw or Scherzer. I think we're going to put Nolan Ryan in over Max Scherzer. Uh, and we're going to see what Clayton Kershaw can do, potentially. Out of the bullpen, we're going to have Andrew Miller. Uh, we're going to throw Dylan Batances, even though he's absolutely horrific in real life. Uh, closing pitcher, we're going to add in Fernando Rodney. We're going to add in Aroldis Chapman. I think, instead of uh, Bruce Suter. So we have a really solid pen overall. I think that's all I'm going to add in. We have two lefties. And then a bunch of really, really talented righties in here. Uh, and then with Inside Edge, a lot of these guys are even playing up. So we are in a really, really good position. Sick bullpen and rotation. As far as catcher goes, I think this... Uh, not, not Doug Martin, what am I saying? This Russell Martin is one of the best catchers in the game. Um, he really is incredible. Uh, has one of the best swings in the game, so I'm a really big fan of that card. We're also going to probably get El Gary on the bench. He's amazing as well. Could be a good bench bat, so we're going to throw him out there. First base, I'm going to throw in 98 Jeff Bagwell. Should be an absolute monster. He's insane. like to get some action with him. Second base, we're going to throw in Jose Altuve. Haven't used this card uh, yet all year. A lot of these cards I haven't used at all. They will get their own debuts. Jose Altuve definitely will, I think. Uh, but for now, we're not going to do that. Third base, Adrian Beltre. He's going to go at 96 Adrian Beltre. If you guys want to know how to get these cards... There's some videos out there. Uh, Nolan Arenado will be on the bench, but this card is absolutely unreal as well. Absolutely incredible. Uh, can't wait to use him some more. Been using him, hitting 423. Some of that online, some of that not. Uh, I'm only 3 0 in ranked season so far, so we're going to hopefully look to extend that. Troy Tulowitzki will be my starting shortstop. So we're going to go ahead and put him at the shortstop position. And maybe even bring Hanram off the bench. I don't know. We'll put him in instead of Kyle for right now. Left field, this Billy Williams rakes. Unbelievable card. I think I'd prefer him to Rod Carew and then bring in Lou Brock for some great and much-needed speed off the bench. Hanran might end up not playing. And same thing with uh, Gary Sanchez, El Gary. I love El Gary, but it might not happen. Center field, Mike Trout playing up. Are you kidding me? He's got to go out there. He's got to start. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play him in center. Despite not having an amazing arm, if you will. This Dale Murphy's really good, and this Larry Doby is also really good. Uh, but we're going to go over to right field real quick, and we're going to throw in Vladimir Guerrero. And then I think I would prefer to have a really good lefty bat in there, because I see I have all righties. I need to get some some you know lefty action in there. Bryce Harper is going to play in left, and I would like another lefty starter, ideally. Uh, so I think I might get a switch hitting catcher in there. Uh, and I'm going to bring in Jorge Posada instead of Russell Martin, even though I love that Russell Martin card. Uh, and I think Russell Martin will come in for El Gary. And then maybe we'll bring in another lefty bat uh, off the bench instead of Hanram. 
And uh, who, who would that be? Maybe Larry Doby? He's got some good power. He's not terrible. Charlie Blackman's also a really an elite hitter. Um, I think we're going to go ahead. Corey Seager's also an interesting one. He's not playing up. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put Larry Doby instead of Hanley Ramirez. So we got a 91 overall team right now. Maybe could be even higher if I were to throw uh, out Lou Brock and Russell Martin for some higher overalls. I'm not sure. Uh, but the lineup is going to go like this. We're going to lead off Jose Altuve. Then play Vlad at the 2. Jeff Bagwell at the 3. I think Bryce Harper at the 4 maybe. Mike Trout at the 5. And then we'll go Jorge. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on here. I can't have Adrian Beltre that buried. I think we're going to do this. I think that's what I do. Jose Altuve. Who I'd probably rather have Adrian Beltre there, but Jose Altuve is a more traditional leadoff guy in a lot of senses. I know he doesn't lead off for the Astros, but I think this is the team we're going to go with. It's obviously insane. I'm aware. I appreciate every one of you guys for watching my videos and supporting me. Subscribe if you're new, and uh, let's go ahead and hopefully dominate with this team. If I lose, man, <laughs> uh, it's not getting uploaded. It's just, it just won't. Uh, so you're, if you're watching it, you're, it means I've won. All right, just kind of joking with that. I'm 3-0 and so far, not hitting for the best average. Um, let's go play somewhere where I can tear shit up. Yankee Stadium. Two in the morning, probably some goons out. I'm not matching up for a bit. Oh, okay. Give me a challenge. All right. Already haven't played enough online this year. This probably won't go well. This just continues to rise. Can't wait. All right, that took a while. This guy could be... Uh, really bad or it's 2 30 a.m and he's much better than me and uh i haven't played much ranked seasons this year only only a couple games so this this could go quite poorly i'm gonna brace myself even with the god squad all right even with the god squad all right the bomb city bronx bombers fellow yankee fan uh he's got some diamonds at least lou brock richie ashburn adam jones manny machado Wee reese also got Trey Turner, El Gary, Adrian Gonzalez, and rookie Babe Ruth on the mound. I got Bob Gibson, though. I'm actually really happy to see Bob Gibson. Uh, I hope he's going to be dominant. Babe Ruth, I'm also really happy to see because I know that card's not very good. I should be able to absolutely rock him. Hopefully, he stays in the game if I can start hitting. Get it going with Bob Gibson to start things off here in the Houston Oilers jerseys. Live at Yankee Stadium. He cannot catch up to 96. So what am I going to do again? Throw another fastball. 96 again still too late let's uh, raise the eye level a bit climb the ladder fastball 98 all right i don't think a very good player if he can't hit three straight fastballs just missed it unfortunately with vlad jeff bagwell though not gonna have the distance not going to have it. Got a good piece on that one. Not going to drive it out. If this Bob Gibson can consistently hit 97-98, he's going to be a really, really good card. His per nines are pretty good. His pitch selection's not bad. I know this guy finally got a piece of the fastball. I think it's the first fastball he's actually even touched. Which means I'm going to try and bury a change up here and sit him down. Get it, Jorge. Yep, back to the dugout. A little, little more exciting than I would have liked. All right, Mike Trout, I've used him in BR. I am underneath everything, which is no good. You guys don't need me to tell you that. Uh, don't be don't be underneath it. Be on it. I felt like I was on it that time, and uh, another fly out. Getting a little bit frustrated here, I'm not going to lie. I'm underneath literally everything. How is that possible? Finally one that I'm not underneath because the pitch was not in the zone. <laughs> Finally get a hit. Wasn't a good hit. I'm aware of these things. I'm aware I'm not good right now. I will be good. It's a matter of time. I gotta. I just got to get practice online. Back-to-back -back hits. My 8 and my 9 spot with the pitcher. Both the same shit hit. I know. Hopefully Altuve can do something though. All right, bases loaded for Vlad. 
Come on, Vlad. I might power swing to make this interesting. Fuck! Jeff Bagwell, bases loaded, two outs. Am I going to get a late Grand Slam here? I feel bad about it. I wasn't on it, but I'll take the Grand Slam, dude. Um, I had good timing. Fuck it. Nah, I'm fine. Good timing? That's fine. Just went the other way. I'll take good timing. Don't quit it for nothing, dude. He quit. All right, well, I'll try to get another game going. All right. Next game here, we're facing 88 Felix Hernandez. So this guy's completed uh, a lot of the teams as well. We got Jake Arietta on the mound. Uh, probably won't be a very easy game. Hopefully he's like me and just drops money and also can't hit. Because I cannot hit online. I, like, I'm not even close. I'm underneath everything. And I'm not even pulling down. I'm just missing. Which is uh, uncharacteristic of me. And, you know, new game, new year. I just starting out. Hopefully, I can be more consistent and actually start hitting the ball pretty well. And I can have more fun online. Because that's what it's about. I don't give a, you know, a hoot or a holler about the CPU. Right? I'm trying to get wins online. All right, here's Arietta. Still doing the same thing at the plate of a, of a novice level player. Which I am, to be fair. Uh, but swinging early in counts at bad pitches for no reason. There's no reason to do it, and I keep doing it, and I got to stop. Otherwise, I'm not going to be a good hitter. If I just say, oh, yeah, I throw whatever, I'll swing no matter what. I can't go through an inning with five pitches thrown. That's not good. And uh, Troy Tulowitzki, are you kidding me? He's like one of the best fieldings of any shortstop in the game. Best feeling stats, I should say. I don't know what you're swinging at. Back picks. Get out of here. All right, here we go. Can I actually hit the ball, please? That's five pitches in an inning. And that kind of looked good to me at the start. That sweeping curve was weird. At least you guys get to see uh, both of these Oilers jerseys here. The red and uh, the light blue. Oh my goodness, I thought I was right on that. Apparently over the top. Ground out to second base. Went right into the shift. Oh man, I couldn't have missed that by that much. Yeah, I was right down the middle. Sick. Alright, that's a really trash first hit to get. That was low. All of my hits, I'm just dragging the ball and getting lucky at pushing it through some of the holes. It's not an effective way to win. Alright, so that's going to be perfect through three innings. Um, and I changed my strike zone to zoom, which is what I played last year. Hopefully I'm going to be able to get um, a little bit better. It's, it's a little bit different than strike zone three. Just as long as I can hit again, that's what I want, dude. Because I got, I got decent last year. All right, I, I got this, dude. That's a base hit. I mean, <laughs> you guys notice a trend? All of my hits are ground balls. It's disgusting. This is the least exciting game I could ever put out there. Uh, but, you know, this is the trials and tribulations. I'm not going to be good right away. You guys are seeing that. That's a gap shot with Jorge. Is that going to get down, though? It's going to. Finally, at least a decent piece of hitting. Jorge's got a double. Adrian Beltre will score. It's an RBI double for George. Jorge Posada. And I was on top of that? There's no way. Dude, I felt like I was underneath that, if anything. I guess I'm not just not seeing the ball well or something. I don't know how that was a fucking chopper. We might be looking at a complete game from Jake Arrieta if he keeps dealing like this. He's throwing a perfect game right now. I know it's still early, and I know you're not supposed to talk about it. I don't give a shit. We're talking about it. This guy has not been able to see Arrieta that well so far. 
which means it's only a matter of time before he pulls a home run on me. Oh, thought it could have been there. That would have been fun. Ah, cool. There, I told you. There it goes. Where's the pulled homer gonna happen? There it is. Jim Edmonds, uh, fucking jacks it on me for his first hit of the game. Really, the first time he's made any decent contact. I put it lower in the zone. Change up. He took it out of here. Good on him though. Tie ball game. Get out of the inning. It's a tie ball game though. I have a feeling we're gonna see Fernando Rodney, which I would almost welcome. That's just fastballs and circle changes. As we're going to see, Chris Davinsky doesn't throw hard. Astro against former Astro right now. Both former Astro. I think Davinsky's on the Cardinals now, actually. But, I mean, you could say Bagwell's on the Astros in this version. I don't know. Whatever. Let me just fucking homer. There it is. I guess I had enough of these games. Power swung. Drove that one out with Bagwell, who's the star of the episode by far. He left a change up in a really bad spot. Took advantage of it. Which is good. You know what? Let me let me start getting on some of these, dude. Let me get the hang of this. I hate losing. And I hate being bad. And I'm a tie ball game, and I'm bad. Bryce Harper, back to back. Please, let's get it. Off the foul pole. I'll take it. Center that one up pretty well. Let's go back to back to back. Oh. Underneath. I just got to play with a confidence, dude. That's what I did with Bagwell. Homered. Got it back with Harper. Homered. I know Chris Davinsky is not exactly the toughest pitcher to face. Only throws about 94 on that last fastball. Might see Fernando Rodney here in a second. And here he is. Yeah, give me a taste of that fastball. Oh, circle change. I was on it. I was early. He's getting me with his circle change, dude. He's going to set me up for that fastball. Is that traveling further than I thought? No way. That's warning track power. That's all right, though. That's all right. We've had a pretty good inning so far. Uh, looking to extend that with Jorge. I mean, I got on that one. It was a really tough pitch to hit. But, I mean, we're going after pitches, and I'm hitting them better. So, maybe patience for me isn't the best thing. I gotta, I'll gotta, i eventually work to the point of where I have that, like, uh, that nice combo of patience, aggressiveness, and making contact with the ball. But, uh, I mean, like, these set of games for me have not been enjoyable when I can't hit. Because that's what fucking baseball is. You're going, you're trying to hit the ball. And I'm just, you know, pop up. Occasional ground out to compensate. I'm not striking out, but I'm just not hitting it well at all. All right, here we go. Let's carry some of that momentum from the last inning. I might switch to zoom, by the way. Strike zone three was not cutting it for me. I was decent contact with Tulo. Uh, that's going to be a long fly out. See, I, there's no reason to take in that spot when I see it right down the middle. Uh, man, that's a little bit to the left. I just got to see the ball a little bit better. I gotta get. The, I'll get the hang of it eventually. What are you doing at third base, Adrian Beltre? Your fielding is incredible. I dare you to go three. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Almost had him. All right. Jim Edmonds is a killer, dude. All right. He's gonna move over to third. I'm gonna try to back pick him if he goes home. It's a risky run. I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. Uh, now it's 3-2. I was played. I was played. I thought he'd, you know, think about it, see what I was going to do there, and then go back. And, uh, nah, he just keeps going going, and he fucked me. Let's see if he's going to go for a pitch out or something. Why is he doing that? Oh, my goodness. You're an idiot. Go, Vlad. I'm going to try for three if he goes two. He's going two. That's third base. <laughs> All right. No outs. Vlad on third. It's not going to matter anyway when Bagwell goes yard for the third time this video. Underneath it. Common trend. 
That's not going to have the power. Warning track power. Oh, it's off the wall. He may have caught that. He's also going two, which means I'm going three. Yeah, I can do a little bit of fancy base running as well. Not really. I missed that one badly, too. And he's going to throw it, Bryce. He's pissed. Top eight, dude. And he's going to throw it, Trout, too. Yeah, he's, he's out of this game. I'll stay at three and just advance the runner. Yeah, he's pissed now. Like, I didn't even outplay him, really. He might leave now. Friendly quit? Yeah, I'm going to pass on that one. Appreciate it. All right, he's quit. All right, guys. So that was... um. These were not a great series of games for me. I'm going to get better as I play more. I'm going to do BR on stream. Links to that is in the description, by the way. Uh, I've just been doing so much grinding against the CPU that I really just have not been playing any ranked seasons, which has led to me being not being able to hit online. I think it's the simplest way to put it. I'm going to go back to Zoom. Hopefully end up hitting better. I'm not going to go strike zone. I know it's the best. I'm going to go back to a different lineup, golds, and we're going to, you know, bring in diamonds. So the only diamond is going to be um, Vlad Guerrero and then whoever we bring in for the debut, which could be both a pitcher and a hitter. But we shall see. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not that good right now. I know it's got to be disappointing to watch. I'm sorry. I'm going to get good. I played only a few games online. Learning curve or whatever. I don't know. I'm going to be better. Sorry if you hate it or hate me for spending money. It is what it is. You're going to make your own you know, assumptions and opinions generated on what you know or what you think you know. Uh, but subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Take it easy.